If you use LearnDash, the best way to sell your courses and group access is with Surecart. We make it so easy and there's so many benefits to using Surecart to sell your LearnDash courses as well as your access to your LearnDash groups. There's more ways to pay when it's powered by Surecart. There's payment plans, which is something that is not possible in LearnDash on its own. Of course, we have discounting rules. We have subscriptions where your buyers can go in and up upgrade to higher price plans or different terms and have it be prorated. There's tax calculations and collection. There's just so many benefits that you get with Surecart. But let me show you how easy it is to integrate the two. All you need is Surecart installed, and I've already gone ahead and created a couple LearnDash courses as well as a LearnDash group. So what you do inside of Surecart is just create a product. And I've already gone ahead and created this product right here named Membership. Now, this product happens to have multiple pricing plans, and that's one of the beauties of using Surecart to sell LearnDash courses is you can offer your buyers more than one way to pay and we have very powerful and flexible options. Okay, so we have this integrations right here. All you need to do is create your product, create the pricing options, and then scroll down to integrations. Click right here where it says add new integration. And then from the drop down, you can choose a LearnDash course or LearnDash groups. So I'm gonna go and first choose LearnDash course. And then right here, I'm going to choose the course. So these are the courses that I've created already on the site. I'll choose this one and click on add integration. And there it is. It's going to display right there. And you can easily remove this by clicking on the three dots and clicking on delete. But you can also add more than one integration. So if I wanted it to be two courses and I didn't want to use groups for that, I can click right here to add new integration. I can choose Learn Dash courses and I can choose that second course that I created and it's easily added and I can go ahead and add the group as well. So I'll click right here for add new integration. I will choose learn dash groups. This is the only group I created. It's named the VIP group. I'll click on add integration and there it is. So now when someone comes along and places an order for this product, they're going to automatically be added to these different courses right here, as well as this group. Now, some of this is redundant if you're using groups to control access to courses. So if this VIP group, when someone's enrolled, they automatically get access to these courses. There's no need to list the courses out here in the integrations. In that case, you would just list out the group. So I would go here, click on delete, and then I would go here and then click on delete and it would just be the group access. It's however you like to use your Learn Dash setup. Now, when I go back to see my list of products, you're gonna see there's a column here for integrations and you can see membership and then here's that integration that I've created. Now you might be wondering what's the process of refunding and revoking access and that is simple as well. So let's go ahead and place a test order for this membership. But first I'm gonna go to Learn Dash and I'm gonna go down here to groups. I'm gonna go and click on the group and then I'm gonna go up here to where it says users and you can see I don't have any users, not even me, the logged in user is available here. So here I am on a checkout page. You can see it's in test mode. So I'm gonna place a test order and I'll go ahead and it doesn't matter which plan I choose. I will go and choose the lifetime plan and I'm gonna scroll down here. I'm gonna pay with a credit card, but you can also enable multiple Stripe payment methods. So I have bank ACH as well as PayPal available here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out. And you can see I have this checkbox to agree to the terms of service. I'll click right here to join now and you can see it's showing the payment messages and here is the order confirmation. So I'm back here and I'm gonna go ahead and click on the refresh to refresh this page and you can see I've automatically been added as a member of this group. So now I'm gonna go to orders to see a list of my orders. Here is the order, the top one. 
And on this page, I can click right here to refund this order. And here's an option to revoke access. And when I click on this revoke option, it's going to take the buyer and remove them. Whatever the integrations are, it's going to reverse it. Now, when you click on refund, we don't automatically revoke because there are times where you might want to give a partial refund or a refund and leave the person enrolled inside of the group. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click right here where it says revoke. I'm gonna click on okay. So now it is confirmed that it's revoked. You can see right here, quantity one revoked. I can unrevoke in case I did that accidentally. Now let's go back into the group and let's take a look at the list of users that are enrolled in that group. I'm gonna go to VIP group. I'll click right here where it says users and you can see, oh, I'm no longer enrolled in the group. Now you just saw how we do that with groups. It's gonna be the same with courses. And if there was multiple integrations, you would just go there and click on the revoke option or the refund option, whatever you wanted to do. Uh, but it's all right there, it's all one click. You don't have to go to multiple screens. It's very easy to manage your students' orders.